SpaceX's Starlink initiative consists of a huge network of satellite spacecraft that will hang out in low, Earth orbit, with the purpose of beaming internet service around the globe. With the objective of eventually building a low, cost, satellite based broadband network capable of delivering internet access to the entire globe. Sounds pretty straightforward, but what makes Starlink special compared to conventional satellite internet? Well, to put it plainly, while satellite internet has been around for ages, it has generally suffered from high latency, unreliable connections, and sparty service areas. With Starlink, SpaceX intends to put a constellation of satellites in low Earth orbit, thereby providing high-speed, cable-like internet to every corner of the planet. The project is expected to cost around $10 billion in total. To give you a sense of just how formidable a challenge this is, here are some numbers. There are currently only 1,459 satellites currently in orbit around Earth, along with 2,600 inactive. SpaceX will need to launch 4,425 satellites into orbit to achieve its desired coverage. That's going to require a lot of rockets, a lot of fuel, and a lot of money. On February 22, 2018, SpaceX and Starlink took a huge step. The project successfully launched the first two Starlink test satellites named Tintin A and Tintin B. Following the successful launch of the very first satellites, Starlink got some more good news. The FCC approved the official request for the project to provide broadband services. That means that if Starlink gets enough satellites in the sky to offer a commercial internet connection, they are free to offer it in the US. Through the FCC filing, we know that the satellites will contain five 1.5 kg silicon carbide components, which indicate that each satellite will contain five individual lasers. These lasers, just like our fiber optic cables here on Earth, use light pulses to transmit information between the satellites. Transmitting with light in space offers one massive advantage over transmitting with light. Here on Earth, however, the speed of light is not constant in every material. In fact, light travels 47% slower in glass than in a vacuum. This offers Starlink one huge advantage over previously used internet connections. The first source of latency for Starlink will be during up and down process, where we need to transfer our information to and from Earth. We know this will be done with phase array antenna, which are radio antenna that can control the direction of transmission without moving parts. Instead, they use destructive and constructive interference to control the direction of radio wave. Each satellite has a cone beam with the 81 degree range of view. With the orbit of 550 kilometers, each satellite can cover circular area with radius of 500 kilometers. As altitude of satellite is lower, it means it cover less area, but it also decrease latency. This is why SpaceX needs so many satellites in their constellation in order to provide worldwide coverage. They will also be used in conjunction with onboard control, momentum gyroscope, and us government's space debris collision prediction system to allow the satellites to adjust their orbits to DART G collisions. When the satellites have reached their end of service life, then they can use the same altitude controls and thrusters to reorbit the satellite. SpaceX have included all the necessary hardware to minimize space debris risk.